other side. My pronouns are they, them. And this is Cliffside Permaculture. What are you doing up there, Crazy? Trying to see if I can get Phantom and White Shoulders to kind of coexist, but I'm giving them a lot of space to do it. They've been out here all day and nobody's injured. So that's a start. I haven't yet, I keep meaning to get these cut and I just keep not getting them cut, you know? This will be a whole bunch of lilies in about a month, probably. And the buds for these kind are tucked up inside, but these ones present. And we've got the alliums pretty wide open. The poppies are gonna be open, or not poppies, peonies. They're going to be open before too long. One right behind the bench is pretty big. And I want to show you that the iris that I pointed out yesterday is now fully open. And it's really pretty. It's a really pretty iris. Look at that. It's like three different tiers. And we got another one coming open here, but that's just gorgeous to me. I love irises though, so maybe that's just me. Get the pink ones opening. We got the smaller purple ones opening. So this one looks new to me. I. I see how lightly colored this top is, and I think this might be one I didn't have before, too. Um, it might end up being white. We'll find out. Let's, um... I did plant potatoes, and they actually are doing pretty well up here. Doing a fun little short version of a story how I started becoming a nursery is pretty funny. I thought of it when I pulled this up and put it in this little pot last night or two nights ago. I don't know. It was like up in here. We got this aging morel right here. So if you've wondered where the other spot was, hadn't seen it before. So when I see weeds I always wonder what they're going to grow up to be, but I don't want to leave them rooting into the ground and make them a huge headache to get out, because a lot of times letting a plant mature in the dirt like that can just let a very invasive plant get established. And so I started doing this and sinking them into the ground several years ago. Um, so the two current experimental plants are this one. I need to find out what it's going to be. I have a guess that it's a weed of some sort, some sort of weed vine, but I'm not sure yet. It probably won't be something I want, but it's okay. I'll find out. And then the other one is actually round back. I have never put my wagon away. I forgot about that. Oops. Um... You should have seen Phantom get all excited when a couple of cardinals flew over. It was really cute. Oh, I have um, rutabaga seeds that are going to get started. So I think I'm going to end up planting those probably as soon as they come ripe. I put the future little quail tractor for now over top of my seeds that the rabbits are getting into this enclosure now because the door wasn't closing right for the longest time and the trouble is once a rabbit knows that there's food in an enclosure they will try so half the trick is 
not letting the rabbits ever find out because they're they got pretty good hoppers on them. Um, so I need to water some things. I got oh we've walked past it a bunch of times. There's the culprit out in the street right there. We walked past it a couple times already. But look. And I let some of them go bad because I didn't know they were back there. Uh, I didn't think that they'd still be coming up while it's dry, I guess. So I have to keep more vigilance going. Um, but those were all on the far side of this. A whole bunch of them underneath this rhubarb. Which, after the honeyberries come ripe and I get to pick them, then I'm going to... Um, get this round off because I think that the rhubarb can protect the honeyberry well enough at this point. There were a couple under there. There were a good many here. And then there's a few that, the ones that I specifically did let go, you can kind of see how big this one would have been if it weren't getting stepped on all the time. Look at, look at the tr I don't know if you'd call that a trunk. But like that's maybe like a three inch across mushroom base. So I figure that the ones that are all striated like this are gone bad. So I don't I don't pick them. I let them go. There were a few in here. A bunch right here. And you see there's still a few more but it's fine. Um, yeah, so they just kind of like grow really fast and get away from me. So I'm still learning how to find them in time. I topped the onions that I want to get big. So this whole row no longer has the Egyptian onion tops on them because I want to have larger bulbs. One more asparagus out of there. But you can see there's a bunch of clumps of Egyptian onions on this side. And those will be my, like, replacements. I don't know if that makes sense. And I picked a bunch so the lower tier no longer has onions growing out of it. Because they were, like, gonna be crowding the strawberries. Which these new strawberries are now starting to get established and starting to bloom. These are the new ever-bearing Fort Laramie that also will produce fruit on their uh, on their runners. I also noticed in the back corner here, so I transplanted what I thought was a strawberry last year and it turns out it's a barren strawberry and you can tell because it has yellow flowers. So we're going to go into my zone 5 where I don't usually go, especially during videos, just to show you that real quick. So that's the remnants of a yellow flower, which means that this is a barren strawberry and not one that you'd want to eat. Because, they, I mean, they, they're edible, but they taste bad. But I think it's a good thing for down here in this corner. I also noticed we had a deer come through and eat a lot off of the um, hazelnut there. Need to, I don't know, got a whole bunch of lawnmower scruff. I need to kind of trim this up a little bit so it's not smothering my cuttings that are in there. I transplanted the mystery current that was um, the opposite spot of right here, like on the other side. You see that little notch? On the other side there, I had a self-planted mystery current. Planted that. So, something you might not know is that I only water new plants. Um, so, that's a little bit of a different thing, you know? Not, not the usual. I have noticed that those are 
probably actually the right thing. Some of these are gonna be the right thing. I don't see anything unique in here yet. Just a whole bunch of violets. Like those, they put out seeds like crazy. I don't see any linden in here, but they've started planting themselves in the wood chips, so that's fine. Um, I, s I hope there's some Caucasian spinach in here. What's this little red thing? Can you see it? And then I have a couple more. And there's hoping that something in here is going to be Yapon. Still hoping on that. It's the thing with planting new plants. I have to plant them like not wide broadcast because then I'll never know. I'll never know which one's which. But oh yeah, and I keep forgetting to show the columbine. There's a bunch of columbine. So the other plant that I pulled out, knowing that I didn't want it where it was, but I do want it, is this is a seedling off of the Joan Jay thornless raspberry. And it's thorned, but they're soft, non-hooking thorns. They're more like hairs, really. So, but I didn't want to find out how thorny it was gonna be on its secondary wood in the middle of all my thornless spot where it's kind of hard to get through. So that was exciting to find. I did add the rest of the soil here. Still need to plant a bunch of seeds. So yeah, those are, that's kind of the history of how I started learning to be a nurse Oh, that was a haircut. Learning to be a nursery was just because I was really curious what plants would turn out to be, but didn't want to let them get established where they were. I think I might have some Carolina allspice in here too, which would be great. This little, um, I spied them earlier. These little ones, I think they might be. Because that's a different sprout than I'm used to seeing at all. Still need to get these out. They're now several years old. And I should move these. I'm pretty sure those are switchgrass from the seeds that I picked, but I should pot them up in case they're not. I'll need to do some ID work. I think I just stepped, yeah, I stepped on a Joe pie. That needs dug out too, because those get like, those are the one, the pink flowers in the back, they get like 8, 12 feet tall. And, yeah, look, columbine. These are not native. There are native columbines. These are Asiatic. I like the upward facing ones. Um, I also like this purple color. There's another one right, um, uh, right here. That's also pink. So basically got pinks and purples. another pink one. Yep. Oh, that one's actually upward facing, huh? Whoop, boink. Chrysanthemums <laughs> falling apart. So, yep. So I guess this is kind of a late spring, early summer flower tour. I want to pick these for food. Mm. go. Add those to the food bin. What are they? Milkweed sprouts. 
should be hollow and producing white stuff. Otherwise they're dog vein and very toxic. We've got sparrows saying hi to us quite, quite a lot there. Did we see this one too? It's a very almost white color there. Yep. So thank you so much for visiting the cliffside and joining me for a flower tour. My back's been sore. And on Tuesday, oh look, another elm tree. Um, yeesh, there we go. Um, yeah, so on Tuesday I had, <sighs> I had my nose carterized. I don't know if you remember last year in the summertime I ended up with like an epic multi-day really bad nosebleed. It was the first one I'd had in years. They used to happen to me all the time when I was young. So it's a relief to have it done but it kind of felt like getting punched in the nose and it's been a little exhausting. Whew. Oh they've got street trees going down there along the fence. I've never seen those before. Hmm. Cool. So, yep, I'm feeling a little under the weather. My back started bugging me the other day too, which is always fun. I ended up with like a back Charlie horse. You know, minor, minor stuff. But I'm still recovering from the back Charlie horse. It's still very tender, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess with it just you know there's there's lots I could be doing digging lifting all kinds of stuff but I'm not gonna because it hurts so just kind of taking a break might go down the hill and harvest some of the spider wart so I have a pretty big harvesting basket and since the heat's still on because the winter the nights are still pretty cold i think this is a good time to keep drying the mushrooms because the the um radiator actually did a pretty good job uh, i just need to collect them up and put them put them in a airtight container right so that'll be good all right i am rambling at this point so oh look are those orioles in there there's like orange birds right there. Oh, broo, down they go. Down there now. You're very orange. Are you an Oriole? You're pretty. <laughs> Thank you so much for visiting the cliffside. This has been Permaculture. You pretty bird. Take care. Bye.